Today I will be discussing an episode of an Italian anthology miniseries entitled The Devil's Game. The Devil's Game was completed in 1979 and first aired in 1981. The episode in question is Venus of Il. The two directors hired for this project were Mario and Lamberto Bava. This would be Mario's final directing credit and Lamberto's first. This narrative is adapted from Venus de Il, a short story written by Prosper Merimi in 1835, first published in 1837. This story was also adapted as an Austrian silent film from 1922 and a Polish telefilm which aired in 1969. On the larger state of the vastly rich Mr. Perard, an elegant bronze statue of a woman is unearthed. From the start, the statue proves a bad omen. It immediately falls over, breaking a man's leg. An antique expert named Matthew was requested to inspect the statue, it having now been placed in a garden on Peharaid's estate. I'm not quite sure how to pronounce this. I, I saw the film, but I've forgotten. I can't quite look at it. Matthew is quite entranced by the statue, but also with the young woman, Clara. Clara is engaged to be married to Peharaid's son, Alfonso. Upon the arrival of their wedding day, Alfonso foolishly places Clara's ring on the hand of the statue, and so he has to use a substitute during the actual ceremony. Alfonso later claims to Matthew that he, he attempted to remove the real ring from the statue's finger, only to have it come to life and push him off. Matthew decides to investigate the claim, but he's confronted by Clara in the garden. The rest is up for you to view, if you are interested. My screen caps tease at it. This film is only an hour long in length, and serves as a very effectively paced supernatural yarn. It boasts a potent mood, its staging and costuming are regularly catching, and its plot is unique and consistently mysterious. There is an omnipresent strangeness that only protagonist Matthew seems to pick up on, though he is as confused as us as to what that might be. Exactly. Why does Clara seem to resemble this statue so? Hmm. Not one of the absolute greatest films of all time, but I find it rather admirable. It is a modest yet very aesthetically considered horror film production. For a quick slice of involving ghost mystery, this one is a strong viewing experience. So dim the lights, get warm, enjoy.